Hello, and welcome to Backseat Gamer. Once you pop, you can't stop. I'm your host, Michael Riley. With me is Dane Forjoan. Arr. And Dane, uh, I mean, Jason Amherst. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, so. And Dane Forjoan. Dane Forjoan and Dane Forjoan. Dane Forjoan twice. <laughs> he cloned himself. I know it oh, sounds hi, like. Me. I, I know it sounds like Jason, but it's actually Dane. <laughs> hey. Shay, how you doing, me? I'm great, me. How am I doing? I'm me. Me, I'm doing good. Me, I'm doing good. I might be the defective part. <laughs> Bail, no, bro. <laughs> Bail. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. God. Oh my god. Bail no brother. Yeah. <laughs> the robot chicken reference. Oh. Yeah. I was about to say, what the what the fuck are you talking about? But now I remember. I've already been through there. Hold on. What am I what am I supposed to be doing now? Am I supposed to be Conducting with my penis? Oh. Do I did I do the I might, I think I've done the lockdown now. <sighs> Nine years. Uh, you know, ooh. sometimes I. Nine years to get these cereals. Cereals. Yum, yum, cereals. Cereal. The, uh, whoever. What the heck was that poison name? Um. Corvo? Or something like that. Yeah, something like that. Like I, of Robo. The way they um the way they did that, it's like, well damn, it sounds it almost sounds like it's real. Oh uh, there there are so many people out there who's just like hey, AI voices are a future. It's like, no, fuck you. First of all, first of all, YouTube poops is where it's at. Oh uh, what when you have such art as YouTube poops or, you know, talented impressionists, you don't need AI. Fuck that shit. It's true. I don't know why people think AI is the wave of the future. Because as long as you long as AI you is making... Skynet? Because <laughs> that's how you get Skynet. As long as AI is making pictures of people with 12 hands and 6 toes and 3 yeah, lips. That's right. I can count on all... Si butts. I can count on all 12 of my fingers what's wrong with AI. It's true. Yeah, AI keeps making people who look inbred. Yeah, we don't need no help in that department. <laughs> <laughs> and yet and yet as we said before there are some people but we, we don't know if it's trolling who are like AI is the wave of the future snap the pencil please for the love of god just shut up how about I snap your neck damn Jeez. Jason's just straight up going to murder someone <laughs> I, I, I'll, listen I'll give you an alibi my man Go oh, so he was I'm just, yeah, I'm he, just saying, like, I, no. I did not see Jason break all 12 of his fingers. <laughs> no, no, officer. He was with me the entire night. Yeah, he snapped his neck, but he's got another one. The AI gave him another one. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's fine. Everything's good. Ipso facto releaso him from prison. <laughs> <laughs> you vestigio. Oh, goodness gracious. You know, I was watching, well, rather listening to a documentary at work today about the history of Doctor Who. Ooh, and okay. I don't 
I don't know if it was just because the guy who was narrating it did a really good job of it, but it's just like, ah, I really want to watch old Doctor Who episodes now. Like, I'm very uh, intrigued to watch. I don't know, if, Jace, if you're a connoisseur of Doctor Who or not particularly. I've seen some old Doctor Who, you know. Uh, I mean, uh, it's it's certainly of its time, um, you know. You're you're not gonna get, uh, you know, fancy special effects or anything like well, that. But the thing that I found very interesting is in those early days, like the the 1960s episodes. They literally did not have time to do reshoots. So if something yeah. went wrong, it stayed in. So there's apparently just a lot of instances of people flubbing lines and props falling over. It's like, nope, nope, not doing another take. Let's go. Which is like, you feel bad, but you understand. Considering that the the uh, the budget that's just how it was done, yeah. Oh yeah, such a limited budget. It's true. They got so much done with it. I mean, they're still going strong. Yeah, but now they got fuck you Disney money. Doctor Who is on Disney now? Uh, Disney Plus, to be exact. Mm. The latest season will be on Disney Plus. Mm. Yeah. You know what? Whatever. I'm not gonna... I'm not the type of person that's gonna go, Nee, that's the stupidest thing ever. Blah, blah, blah. Bugs Bunny? I mean, a lot of people were doing that already, you know, and, and complaining like, Doctor Who's going woke and blah, 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 blah. And it's oh, like, for the love of God. It's fucking sci-fi. Sci-fi's always been woke. Do these people realize that Doctor Who has literally been the same since 1963? It didn't just wake up one day and go, I say, I think I'm going to go woke now. The premise has been the same since 1963. These are the same fucking people. Who's black? Doctor now, and before that, they did the girl doctor, and the girl doctor hurt my feelings. Oh, don't even get me fucking started. New Doctor Who's not supposed to be a female. Like, Doctor Who's not supposed to be black. Well, I mean, to be fair, they did do something weird this time around with the whole instead of regeneration, by generation, where he split in half. That was weird. Anybody who says Doctor Who is not supposed to be this and this, it doesn't watch Doctor Who because he's not called Doctor Who. He's just called the doc a Doctor. So, yeah. yeah, they're idiots and shouldn't be listened to. <laughs> These are the same people who want to talk about X-Men went woke. Like, do, do, you, do you understand just X-Men in general? Like, do you understand? Magneto was a Holocaust survivor. survivor. You like, fucking imbeciles. If you do not know that... Then what is wrong with you? It has been referenced in every single form of X-Men media. The comics, the animated show in the 90s, the movies, all of it. I just... Mm. Yeah, it just seems like... It just seems like people are just saying something's woke just to say it's woke. That's what I've been. That's what I've been. My ah! In my experience, yeah. <laughs> it's, 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 my, it's my belief. <laughs> Oof. Uh. I 
That yeah. was, uh, that teleporter. The, these are the people who go, oh, George, if George Carlin was alive, he would be a MAGA conservative. No, he fucking wouldn't have. He'd be making like, fun of them. His widow literally said he hated Donald Trump and everything Donald Trump stood for. He would not be a MAGA conservative. He would also make fun of liberals, but he would not be a conservative. <sighs> okay, now let me get my blood pressure down a little bit. <laughs> Oh, there are dumber people out there. Flat Earthers, for example. Nah. It always, it always reminds me of the uh, the meme where uh, somebody posted, the 12th annual Flat Earth Convention brings people from all over the globe. And then the reply is, read that sentence again, but slowly. I like that when I picked up that, that key card, it made a sound like a key card pickup in Doom. Well, imagine that. A You're playing game. Doom 3, and they made the Doom sound like, effects. I mean, like the classic Doom sound effects. I, 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 burp. Oh, and even better... Um, now the latest is J.K. Rowling going, I will never forgive Daniel Radcliffe and the others for, you know, coming against me for my trans views. And they're just like, yep, that's right. I don't care, stupid bitch. That apparently that was Daniel Radcliffe's response. I'll be at a nicer way. Just going like, yeah, don't really fucking care, bitch. Do -do -do -do. <laughs> uh. Ooh. <laughs> Mike, Mike, you okay? No. You want to talk about it? No. Trust him. You, you don't. Well, Mike, how can I help you if you won't talk about it? Hold on. <laughs> I just got a I just got a message from upstairs. Are you okay? Cuz the scream I did when I went to the teleporter. <laughs> Whoops. I forget I have roommates. I only lost one arm. It's fine. <laughs> Jeez. It's okay. It's okay. Only a little bit of blood loss. Okay. Yep. Oh, it's, it's only a tumor. It's only a tumor. <sighs> Lord. Hmm. Uh, I I feel bad for the the janitor who has to clean all this stuff. I know. He I know, was, right? He probably quit. That's why it looks like this. It's like walks in. Walks in first day on the job, takes one look and goes, "Nope." Yeah, I'm good. I think I'll go work at Burger King. How did How did blood get on the ceiling? I'm no. I'm sorry. No. How did blood get on the ceiling? Uh, Lionel, it's on the dance floor too. Lionel Richie was stabbed. That's what happens when you start dancing on it's, the ceiling. It's, it's, yeah, that was the joke. <laughs> That's the joke. You done, imps? All right, moving on. Uh, 
Okay. <laughs> I didn't say anything. Blah, 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 balls. Balls. <laughs> Bloody balls. Muddy balls. Mad. Mad lips. Or if you want to be a little playful, mad balls. No? Pink and balls. The cannon balls. And their hit Do they still sell... Do they still sell Mad Balls? I don't know. I don't know. Mad Balls McCree. No, no, that's Mad Dog McCree. Yeah. That man was three days away from retirement. <laughs> I might have blown him away a little prematurely, actually. <laughs> But he probably would have died anyway, so it's whatever. I just spared him a fate. Well, uh, I suspect he was also a zombie. Could have been. Zombie. Z zombie. 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 Eh, eh. Oh, oh. Dicks oh, out for oh, a rock. Oh, 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 oh. Um. Can the lead singer of the Cranberries please stop having sex? Well, yeah, she's, she's dead. Rambe, so. Rambe. Rambe, er, er, e, o, e, o, and e. Dick's out for Harambe. He's a zombie. Rombie. Zombie. Oh, Patricker found that fun. Rombie, zombie. <laughs> Kaboom! Boom, boom, boom. Mo -bo, bo bo Mr. Grinch. Mo bo bo, -bo Mr. Grinch. Bo -bo -bo, bo 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 You really are a dick. You're a contract with Mr. Grinch. <laughs> You're a cum sock, Mr. Grinch. You're vaguely homosexual, Mr. Grinch. <laughs> okay, that, I'm sorry, that wasn't going a little too far. Yeah, you're all big and bad, aren't you? You're in a tube. You're in a tube. You're in a tube. A tube. Get that shit out of here. Lost your head. Nah, if you had keep baby your head, all of us lose theirs. Okay, then. Uh, which way do I go? Okay, that's red, so this is the door to go. Which uh, way go, George? Which way do I go? Hugo Vadaway. Hugo Thanks. Chavez. Thanks a lot, George. That motherfucker's dead. Uh... 
<laughs> hey, macaroni. That's hey, it, macaroni. That's what his corpse is saying. Hmm. Hmm. Yes, indeed. Hey, hey Bogota. Yes. What do you want? You're dead. You hold the woman called me. What do you want? But I don't have a Ouija board handy. Okay. Uh, I mean, don't need a Ouija board. The ghosts could come to you. Don't, don't you? Don't you? Don't you realize that? Oh. Hey, Bogota. What was it like on the set of Good Burger? Eh, well, you know, Dan Snyder was... always talking about feet. You, you piece of, I was going to make that joke, you piece of shit. <laughs> but you, no, no, it's not funny. No, no. Let me tell you something, sir. <laughs> joke. Why is Ava going to Russian? I don't know. <laughs> joke that is he not should, funny. You should slow down. Eh. <laughs> <sighs> eh, <laughs> whatever. I don't know. <laughs> Excuse me one minute. Tonight I'm going to suck your blood. Your blood. <laughs> There's a lot of uh, lockers in this section of the game. Three seventy one. <laughs> dark I thought you was corn yeah I thought you was porn yeah that makes sense Downloading video. I'm good. I need to watch the videos. Ah, what? Boop. Yeah, I don't have this whole cube yet. It's in hell. I haven't gone there yet. The soul pube? So, soul pube? Yeah. Just a single pube. <laughs> Is that, uh... Who the hell was the host of, host of Soul Train? Is it his pube? <laughs> That locker just straight up had a, uh, had the code on it. <laughs> I, I, I already know that, and I will find it. You're just an idiot. I know the soul cube is in hell. I just said that. The fact that I know that and before you even told me means I'm probably going to find it. <laughs> also, it's kind of integral to beating this game. <laughs> you need it to beat the Cyber Demon. <laughs> it's the only way to hurt him.
Getting PDAs left and right, too. We must be getting later into the game. Uh, level three access. Hold on a second. Uh, is it four six four six three? I found it. Okay. All right. We're good. <laughs> Jesus, why was that so difficult? <laughs> File room with Archvile. Oh. Yeah, that was. I it. had to step out of the. Yeah, that was. I it. had to step out of the room because somebody was calling me. Um, what did they call you? For an audition. Oh. That they're doing. Oh. And um, it's one of those things where it's like they ask the same three questions over and over. And it's like. Who's your, what, who is your daddy? What does he do? Well. It, well so what time um, do you want me to be on Zoom? And where's the script? And what time you want? And and how do you want me to do this? And how, it's like I explained this in the audition notice. I I cannot stand these mommy questions where people are just like, how much slower do I have to explain this? I can already I can already tell this is going to be a really bad audition part. Don't know what else to do at this point. Uh, I'm just gonna walk into this restroom P. and get shot at. Apparently, you ever get shot at when you walk into a restroom? Happen all to the time. I live in New York. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There ain't no shit logs in the toilet. That's probably a good thing, though. I'll be honest. Well, I guess um, I guess those pinkies really didn't have to go to the bathroom. Guess not. Blammo. Right in the face. Say, sorry to inform you, you ain't gonna last long. <laughs> nay, nay. Bang, bang, there go your balls. <laughs> you put the boom boom into my butt. <clears throat> you put your ball sack into my mouth. Put your ball sack into my ball sack into my ball sack. Han Lee. <laughs> picked up Han Lee's PDA. <laughs> I have initiated the decontamination or something. Uh, Stormy Daniels won the internet yesterday when someone wrote, she'll sell anything for money, and she responded, not true. I wouldn't sell Bibles. Hey, oh. She's shown her snatch on the internet, yeah. Have a nice day. <laughs> She showed a stat on the internet, yeah. It's true. No, I, I know. I, uh, uh, I didn't say it was false. E I uh, ooh, uh, uh, ting, ting, walla, walla, bing, bang, 386 and 387. Let's see. That's... Scroll, scroll, scroll. They're both 836. 836. And then eight, three, six. Don't need anything out of any of them. All right, cool. It's 
Set destination <laughs> at control station Wation. I mean one. Whatever that Say is. Say something nice about the British. Uh, you guys created the largest number of Independence Days around the world. <laughs> you also created Doctor Who. It's wonderful. Please Doctor Who is wonderful. And you also created Monty Python, even though a couple of them are old men yelling at clouds now. Uh, if I ever become an old man yelling at a cloud, somebody shoot me. I will be sure to do that. Because I don't ah! want you to be yelling at clouds. <laughs> the only cloud I think I will ever yell at is uh, if I ever play those Final Fantasy remakes. Because, damn it, not my Final Fantasy 7. Not your Final Fantasy set. That's alright. I was never a ah! Final Fantasy <laughs> fan either. My my Final Fantasy games are turn based, damn it. None of this action y hack and slash bullshit. Hackety slash <laughs> it, oh. it don't matter. None of this matters. None of this matters. And none of this matters. <laughs> And nothing else matters. Have a nice day. So, uh, Space Ghost Coast to Coast turned 30 years old recently. I saw they were they were promoting the shit. Yeah, although uh, Andy Merrill, uh, the voice of Brack, not too happy about it. And why is that? Uh, because apparently most of them didn't get paid very well and don't see any residuals. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Well, uh, look at look at the whole situation with like C. Martin Croker or like even even Carrie Means begging for money on the internet. I mean, he's the voice of freaking Frylock. Didn't they have to do a GoFundMe for him? Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, it's it's kind of unfortunate. Uh, just Georgia being a shit state. It's true. I thought you were going to say shit stain for a minute. That too. That's fair. <laughs> Yeah, uh, there's there's a couple of nice places in Georgia, but the state as a whole, eh. the state as a whole. Well, I I wouldn't say that much. I mean, Florida, I think is 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 way way worse. I mean, yeah, Florida Florida looks more like a cock though. Yeah. So Flor Florida's the cock, and and uh, Georgia is the anus. Sure. So that made Cuba, although that oh, made Cuba the balls. Although Ohio looks more like a butt than anything. Well, you gotta look at it this way: because Florida's got Ron DeSantis, and uh, Georgia has Marjorie Taylor Greene. So, they're both cuckoo. Now, remember when Ted Cruz was the least liked person in that party? I remember. Ted Cruz, that, everyone. That spineless dick. <laughs> spineless <laughs> there, dick. There are so many worse people in that party now. Like Marjorie Taylor Greene, for example. Jewish space lasers. We're the mean girls, and we're going to make fun of AOC because she's a nerd. Like, Marjorie, you fucking peaked in high school. Like, grow the fuck up. Yeah. Boop. 
Boom. It's another teleporter pad. Uh, I'm assuming that the controls to that are on the other side, possibly. It's a good thing that Boomer Shooters made a comeback, though. I mean, like, there are only so many Doom games you can go through before we feel like we've kind of gone through them all. Like, I mean, what was going to be the next one you play, Mike? Like, the JavaScript one for the mobile phone? Well, I'm not going to play all the ones that, like, are the same as the ones we've already played. I think the next one, although this has an expansion uh, that we're going to play. The mobile phone one played like an RPG, though. Right. Destination. <laughs> Doom the RPG. Roll for initiative. Selected. I think the next one I'll be playing ah, is uh, the 2016 Doom. Why did you scream like that? Because I went to a teleporter. Oh. Ah, 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 ah. Oh, there are the coffee mugs. <laughs> Basically. Oh, this is going to be one of those days. Feeling like a freight train? Yeah. You just want to justify. It's reminding me of some of the guns in Borderlands. They just start getting more and more OP. Wee. NBC News reports that those close to Vince McMahon say he's continued to cooperate with authorities investigating him and believes that he will not be charged in the matter. Boo. As for Grant's lawsuit, McMahon appears to be equally as dismissive, believing that the matter will be settled before reaching trial. Boo. This was denied by someone in Grant's camp who stated that there had been no talks of a settlement between McMahon and Grant. Good. You mean he's going to pay for his crimes? Some say McMahon has spent most of his time on the phone with his lawyers attempting to formulate a strategy to fight against the lawsuit and that he's become more guarded since the story emerged. Others noted McMahon is still active socially using a private driver to travel from Connecticut to New York City where he dines with friends, gets bi-weekly haircuts, and works out with a personal trainer. Hmm. So, uh, McMahon has also remained in touch with some in WWE, sources saying he has conversed with Dwayne The Rock Johnson and John Cena. Aside from Johnson, though, McMahon hasn't spoken with any WWE higher-ups or any family members regarding his legal woes, including Triple H and his daughter, Stephanie McMahon. Well, I think... I think Stephanie pretty much made it clear whose side ja she's on. Making progress, Marine. Yeah. E C dub. E C dub. E C dub. That's right. <laughs> and if you think that the spirit of ECW died in a bankruptcy court in two thousand one, you can suck my fucking you dick. Will never find the thing you seek. Oh, that was beautiful. My favorite thing from the Hall of Fame. Was Paul Heyman saying that? Uh, let's see. Suffer. Die. Burn. Die. 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 Suffer. Die. Die. Suffer. 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 Die. 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 Suffer. Suffer. Dre. Doctor Dre's here. Da 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 da. 
the motherfucking T O double G. Snivity <laughs> dimity. Succumb. Cumb. Cumb. Can you imagine if it was spelled that way? C U M B. I just comb. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I saw. I didn't see succumb. Yeah, it, I saw it, it is succumb, but it, yeah, it's yeah. Burn die. Burn die die. Burn dre. Burn dre. Don't, don't do that. <laughs> he's a national treasure. Da 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 da. I'm just because he, he was locked in. Uh, just because he was locked in Eminem's basement. Katie's basement. <laughs> I don't even need to look up the code for this one. It was just right there on the computer. Oops. Slim Shady, you a basehead. Slim Shady, you a bathtub. <laughs> Feminist women love Eminem. Find the bloody handiwork of Betruger in the Delta Four hallway. Interesting. Mm. Oh. I think we're finally about to go to hell. Sweet. Oh my Sweet. god. This is what, episode six? So it took six hours of this game to go to hell? First the Hell Knights. That guy's dead. <laughs> Looks like you're getting sucked through an anus. Oh, oh my God. We are in hell with no weapons. <laughs> All our weapons is gone. All our weapons is gone. Took us long enough to get to here. Hmm. Hell kind of looks like Florida. Yeah, it does. <laughs> and smells like Jersey. Oh my god, what the fuck is happening here? Oh. oh. Despite all my rage, I am still just a Nicolas Cage. Hey, wang dang dang bang. Wang dang bong. I gotta punch you out because I don't have any weapons. No weapons. <laughs> no weapons. Uh, the unbearable weight of massive talent was such a good movie. I thought you were just, really just I thought you were just describing yourself for a second, Jason. It really is just <laughs> Nicholas Cage playing himself. <sighs> Jesus. <laughs> oh thank god I got a shotgun. I received shotgun. Oh, you got the shit gun. Yes, the shoot goon. Oh, you got shit gun. Yes, I've got the shoot goon. Goon shoot. Oh, you got my hot pee all over your face. Oh no, you're covered in my hot pee. Uh, ha, 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 hee hee hoo. This is. Oh God! Oof. Hell Knights are significantly harder without the BFG. True. Get out of here. Thank you. 
Everything's better with the buffugger. Everything's better with the butt fucker. Oh god, a cherub. Oh god, an imp. Okay, they're dead. I was gonna say, hell seems a lot less musical than uh, everything hell of a boss made it up to be. There's a lot of the uh, crying of the souls of the damned. It's a lot. That's a thing that's happening a lot down here. Yeah. Stop. Uh, like, cherubs. Where, where's all the wacky antics and, and weird looking peoples? Uh, where's Richard Horvitz? D Destroy us all? Because he's in hell of a I was the bacon and of the soap! I made it myself. Jim Cornette? No, it was, it was Gurr. <laughs> Can you imagine <laughs> Gurr in Invader Zim? Thank you, fuck you, bye-bye! <laughs> God damn it, my thing the damn young bucks for the young cops. Damn it, and I'm not home with my freaking voice mod to do and that. I saw a squirrel and I want taquitos. Thank you, fuck you, bye. <laughs> <laughs> something about 9 See something about 9 11. Fuck you, bye. I said nothing about 9 11. And you 9 11 is an inside job. Boop, 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 boop. I want candy. <laughs> Do you want the delectable dessert or just a woman named Candy? <laughs> no, you want candy, bubblegum, and taffy. Skip to, skip to the sweet shop with your sweetheart, Sandy. Exactly. Okay. That's, that's fair enough, I suppose. Uh, gotta, uh, gotta head down to 612 Wharf Avenue. Right next to Gentleman's Club. It's true. <laughs> uh, MC Chris is such a good guy. He is. I didn't know hell could be so scary. Oh man, all these hell nights are scary. Oopy. Oh, I, I, oh, oh, I just pooped my pants. Oh, there goes the poop. Right in my pants. There goes the poop, Smith. Yeah, mm hmm. I feel the poop coming out my butt. Uh, one on the butt, got one on the butt, there's two on the butt, there's two on the butt, there's two on the butt, there's, two on the butt. there's, two. there's two on my butt, it's gonna cause a lot of damage, cause a lot of damage. Oh no, it's a sneeze. Here comes the poop sneeze. Oh no, it's the king of town. <laughs> Jim Cornette, man. Fuck you. <laughs> I'm just imagining now, like, an illustration of the King of Town from uh, Homestar Runner, but with the tennis racket and glasses. Just rambling off nonsense. <laughs> One in the butt, there's two in the butt, there's two in the butt, there's three in the butt. Anyway. How many in the butt? Uh, it depends. How much money you got? Uh, about 350. Uh.
I don't have any rockets. I can't take care of you properly. I'm gonna have to chain gun you to death. Okay, he did. Can I have all my weapons back now, please? <laughs> oh, there's one. Oh. Can we get the butt fucker? No, it was a plasma gun, though. Yo, meathead, didn't you already say that? You Your meat? soul will burn in hell forever, Mr. Freeman. Gordon Freeman? I don't know why, that guy just sounds like the G-Man. Is that the... S oh, that's a berserk. Rise and shine, Mr. Freeman. Alrighty, let's find some bitches to punch. Oh, one bitch. Uh, two bitches, uh, three bitches, uh, four bitches, and a five, and a six. Any more? Where's Restius? No more bitches. None to punch, anyway. Oh, so apparently, uh, CBS cut off the uh, Billy Joel concert. I heard about uh, that on some of their stations. Yeah, people were peaked. Yeah, people were absolutely incensed. Oh, they were playing. They were playing. Piano yeah, they were playing Piano Man. Like, how do you cut off a show, a Billy Joel show, in the middle of his biggest fucking hit? Well, apparently they're going to replay it, and they will be showing the entire thing. Yeah, so. and as an apology, Billy show, Billy Joel's going to do this one naked, so all his fans can appreciate. <laughs> CBS finally allowing full frontal nudity for the very first time. In their history. Not even uh, oh. not even murder she wrote got that treat. That's right. They 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 cut to the local news and gave uh you know eleven six people heart attack ack, 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 ack. You ought to know by you now. You ought to know by now. God damn it. Listen, uh, the the nude episode of Murder She Wrote, probably lowest television ratings in history. Probably Probably didn't help that Angela Lansbury kept stepping on her lips. I'll just let you. I imagine. will not. Excuse me. <laughs> you're, you're, you're fucking. Excuse, you're excused. I will not have a bad word said about Angela Lansbury. Fucking freak. Yay, rocket launcher. <laughs> Oh, hey, no. <laughs> Hello, man of concrete. Who oh, yeah. I wouldn't be very comfortable. Oh, yeah. Sam Gam saying this time never made his life and comes to question his own sexuality. Oh, yeah. Oh, hey, oh, you're never, 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 Uh, start turning into that one. I like, oh, long gods and well, I like that the PDA that I picked up in hell had two audio logs. One was separated from team. The second was still separated from team. Yeah, you're <laughs> you're in hell, my bro. Yeah, you know, like gonna... at least in Borderlands, the audio logs are inconsequential side tidbits 
of usually like goofy side lore. You're in hell. You gotta wait for him to die to re to, to 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 rejoin your team. And if they come to you and rejoin your team, they probably weren't that great of people to begin with, considering you know it's hell. So, welcome to Heck. Uh, this is the lampshade from Heck. Yeah, this the TV is the from Heck. This is the chair from Heck. This is the couch from Heck. Uh, funny. So, uh, somehow we wound up in the bad place. Not the good place. Mm -hmm. With Ted dancing. Mm -hmm. Which the twist of that show is it's actually the bad place. Sorry I ruined it for everybody. Well, well you, you find to be fair, you find that out at the beginning of the first season, so it's not like it's that big of a secret. Yeah. Apparently it true. didn't hinge on it wasn't hinging on the whole series. <laughs> it was a good show. It's true. That's, uh, what, that's like when this, you find out that uh, is... it's like when you find out Ally McBeal was just a lucid dream of Peter McNichols. Oh, how dare you! That's probably exactly how Peter McNichol would say it too. <laughs> how dare you! I, I was in Dracula dead, dead in love. Living. God damn it! <laughs> <laughs> That's my joke? Uh, it's our joke, Dan. It's our joke. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's a joke. Just need to start playing the, uh, the, the, the song from, uh, Freaking uh, Yoshi's Island that sounds suspiciously like the uh, Soviet national anthem. Glory, gorly, hallelujah. What? So, uh, that's right. Yoshis are communists. <clears throat> Hello, comrade. <laughs> Yeah, Stalin. The means of production. You're just turning into Gurgi now. <laughs> Went from Yoshi to Gurgi. <laughs> I'm sick of this weather because I just keep on getting these damn headaches. Uh. There's like BFG ammo up here, so I must be getting close to where the BFG is. Oh, two Hell Knights. You shouldn't have. <laughs> no, really. I have, I, have, I have rockets now, though, so it's not like... I can't take care of them. A little easier! A little easier! Kind of. Kind of. I can't fucking see what's going on. I think I blew one away. There we go. Blew the other one away. Aren't we almost out of time? Yeah, just about. Actually, we are, we're a little over time. So, let me get to a point where I can stop here and we can stop. Oh, right there. Perfect. And I'll just auto-save again. All right, there we go. We're going to stop in hell for now. So when we come back to Doom 3, we can't be said, told to go to hell because we're already there. Ugh. All right, thanks for joining us for this edition of Backseat Gamer. If you like what we do, please hit subscribe and be sure to hit the bell to be notified of upcoming videos. For Dane Forgione and Jason Amherst, I'm Mike Riley saying see you next time on Backseat Gamer. Good night, everybody. Good night.